is for me the best metaphor of what happened in the United States and Canada. Two months before last presidential elections, the big debate, it was the cover story of New York Times and so on, should we desegregate uh, the toilets times, and yeah. so on. And this, what worries me here is that this LGBT campaign was totally out of touch with the worries, anxieties of so-called ordinary people. It had a certain normativity in it. They pretend, oh, we just want equality for us. No, if you talk to them, their much more subtle reasoning is, you who are caught in normal heterosexuality, you are a blind part of the ruling patriarchal ideology, while our position is somehow privileged, more radical, and so on, and so on. So I think all this, exaggerated passion for LGBT rights, for, for political correctness. I see in it a kind of a exaggerated, wrong bureaucratic passion. Like 30, now you know the state- Well, but surely if you are a trans woman, you I want know to use them. the female I have very toilet. Good, or why do you even say uh, uh, women? The trans are really trans, they, yeah, they well, don't want to be, neither But women. if you identify as a woman, yes. you want to use the female toilets. I mean, it's quite simple, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm totally open here to claim that there are some people who don't want to do this. Okay, you have a third type of toilet. I don't have any problem with this. But that's compart compartmentalizing people. Um, no, and because you know why not? Because the third to... toilet would be a kind of an empty toilet. All others. Anybody can go there. Anybody can go there. Yeah, but they might want to use the female toilet. If I they... mean, that's the whole... That's what the whole toilet issue is about. They don't want to be forced to... As they see ah, it, no, that adopt would second be, best. Unfortunately, what you are saying now, I don't think it's really true. If this were to be the case, I would agree with it. But, but that's many like of them want a, a category woman. of their own. This is what bothers me with LGBT. Oh. They are searching for their own identity. Am I butch? Am I this? Am I, am I bigender, trigender, transgender, whatever? I don't trust this passion for categorization. It's another effect of the same mechanism that we find in political correctness, to categorize. But, no. your, but your empty toilet is categorizing them in a way that they don't want. They want to go into the female toilet if they're, you know, if they identify as a woman, that's the toilet they want to use. And you would stop them doing that. You mean if they identify as women? Yes. Yeah, they can do it. But you want this empty toilet. No, to not for all. I want three toilets. It's the <laughs> easiest solution. Masculine, feminine, out of simple respect for, I don't know, 98% of the people. Because remember, gay people are not transgender. They clearly identify. If I'm gay, I am a man who wants to do it <laughs> with men. Yeah, so, I understand that. Yes. Yeah. I mean, so, there are bits of your book, I have to say, that I found hard to, to grasp. But, um, but you know, that is, that is clear. <laughs>